Oasis TV, bringing worlds together. So, so sound has the possibility to penetrate, to go into the body where it's needed and move the molecule. Mole, molecule yeah. <laughs> I'm not American. I'm from Germany. Molecules. <laughs> molecules. <laughs> the cellular level in the body. So when you sound into the body, it's like it goes through the layer of the subconscious and directly into the, of the conscious and directly into the subconscious. So it can go where hands and words cannot reach us. So that means if you have a chronic, for example, fatigue or headache or lower back pain or whatever it might be, then sounds can go in and affect that directly together with the understanding of why it's there because we need to have the consciousness with us with sound. And sounds open up so that the consciousness can be much clearer and much more lucid. So when you have, for example, a chronic headache, let's say that, you need also to understand it. It's not enough that the sounds takes it away. And again, it's not like two minutes taking it away. You might need to practice a specific sound for one week for 20 minutes for example and then get it to go and then be willing to after that you have practiced that to do whatever it takes for it to not come back so to speak to take a responsibility for what you have discovered of your consciousness of your pattern of your core belief about yourself so all our illnesses, either the emotional, physical, mental illnesses, are related to the consciousness, what we think, what we believe about ourselves, as well as how we feel in our bodies. That's what it comes from, the illnesses, that we are not in balance in these areas. Uh -huh.